When talking about Nevada copper and the Pumpkin Hollow project in Earrington, Nevada, we often refer it to it being the right time, right place, right people, right way. The right place is mostly local, Mason Valley, Lyon County, and the state of Nevada. However, after a recent survey of prospective vendors, many of whom would provide goods and services to the project, we found that the economy of this mine site will reach from sea to shining sea in the United States. Whether it be steel, fuel, or millions of dollars in equipment, nearly every state in the Union will benefit from this project. Nevada Copper is expected to use around 15 million gallons of diesel fuel per year to operate excavation, hauling, and processing equipment. Approximately 38 large ore haul trucks and four diesel hydraulic shovels will require a constant supply of diesel fuel. This fuel will be purchased from several potential suppliers including Chevron, who employs over 2,400 people at their headquarters in San Ramon, California. Chevron operates refineries in several locations, including Richmond, California. The Chevron refinery currently employs over 3,550 workers. Pebble crushers, at 3 to 4 million each, are used, like the name suggests, to crush larger pieces of ore into small pieces. Metso, a major mining equipment supplier, is one potential supplier of these crushers. Metso produces crushers in Columbia, South Carolina, at a plant with almost 2,500 workers. Replacement mainframes for this piece of equipment are sold by Spalding out of Paris, California, for $70,000 before taxes and shipping. Spalding is a smaller operation with just over 20 employees. SAG mills, or semi-autogenous grinding mills, a $35 million investment, are used to grind ore into a fine material that copper and other minerals can then be extracted from. Metso is also a potential supplier of these mills. These mills are produced in Warrenton, Missouri by over 120 workers. A major component of a SAG mill, the discharge cone, is manufactured by a small group of 20 workers with compass equipment in Oroville, California and sells for around $300,000. This is also a replaceable part. After going through the sag mill, the smaller rocks are placed into a ball mill that uses large steel balls to grind the rock further. One supplier of the steel balls for these mills is Nucor in Salt Lake City, Utah, where they employ 380 workers. Speaking of steel, 50 to 100 million dollars worth of steel will be acquired for structural purposes, reinforcing bar for concrete, and steel cladding for buildings. These will be manufactured by multiple locations in the country. Rebar comes from Northern Nevada Rebar in Reno, Nevada. And of course, all of the steel needs iron, which will be mined in Northern Minnesota. Chemco Systems, located in Pennsylvania, sells dry lime silos. Their manufacturing plant has over 90 workers. Nevada Copper will be purchasing one for a price tag of around $1.4 million. Chemco Systems may buy their steel for this silo from Gary Works out of Gary, Indiana, who currently employs 120 workers. In the case of silos, rolled steel sheets will be purchased. Four electric rope shovels will be used to remove large amounts of ore and mine waste rock from pits. Each of these cost over $20 million. Prospective vendors include PH and Caterpillar, both located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. PH employs over 14,500 workers at their main plant. Excel Foundry and Machine, located in Pekin, Illinois, and providing jobs for over 200 people produces the undercarriage for some of these shovels. The full undercarriages cost up to two million dollars, with the tracks being replaced every five to six years and the full undercarriage every ten years. The variable frequency drives used to control speed and torque for these shovels are manufactured by TMEC in Houston, Texas and are engineered in Roanoke, Virginia. Combined, that's about 1,300 employees. 
Each VFD cost well over $100,000, and Nevada Copper is expected to spend $20 million on this piece of equipment alone. Mining equipment for Pumpkin Hollow will include 38 large haul trucks carrying up to 320 tons of ore. These trucks are manufactured in Peoria, Illinois by Komatsu, where over 500 people are employed, Decatur, Illinois by Caterpillar by 355 workers, and Newport News, Virginia by Lieber, who employs about 500 people at this location. Each truck costs approximately seven to eight million dollars. Each truck will need to be assembled on site and will take a crew of about 12 workers approximately two to four weeks to assemble. The 320 ton haul trucks are used for surface mining. In underground mining, a smaller 50 ton truck is used. Engines for these trucks are manufactured by Cummins in Columbus, Ohio, where they employ 7,000 people. The electric drive systems are manufactured by General Electric in Fort Worth, Texas, by just over 300 workers. Tires for this piece of equipment may be manufactured and sold by Michelin Tire in Lexington, South Carolina. This manufacturing plant employs just under 400 people. Another potential tire vendor is Bridgestone, producing off-the-road tires in Des Moines, Iowa, where they employ 300 workers. Tires for the large surface mining haul trucks can cost as much as $70,000 apiece. Atlas Copco, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, produces many pieces of equipment for underground mining, including air compressors. They employ about 2,500 workers. The project will require five large bulldozers, each weighing 248,000 pounds, or 124 tons. In the case of Nevada Copper, a $2 million plus per bulldozer investment. Caterpillar out of Decatur, Illinois may provide this piece of equipment. They employ over 355 workers. Blast hole drills are a key component to any mine site. Sandvik produces such drills in Alachua, Florida at a plant of about 350 people. These blast hole drills sell for well over $1 million. Hydraulic pumps for these drills are provided by Rexroth in Charlotte, North Carolina, where they employ 295 workers. Bort Longer has been drilling at the Pumpkin Hollow site since Nevada Copper took over in 2006. Over half a million feet of drilling later, they're still going. The currently contracted Bort Longyear team of 14 comes out of Elko, Nevada. The diamond coring bits for the drills are manufactured in Salt Lake City, Utah. The Salt Lake manufacturing site holds 92 of Bort Longyear's 950 Utah workers. Tico is currently contracted with the installation of steel for the head frame using a six-man team. They, along with Utah Fabrication, where the steel members are fabricated, come from Tueli, Utah. Utah Fabrication purchases their steel from Reliance Metal Center in Salt Lake City, Utah, an investment well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Reliance employs just over 60 people. Western Nevada Supply, located in Sparks, Nevada, distributes everything from household fixtures to industrial equipment while employing 200 people. Nevada Copper will go through Western Nevada Supply for pipes, valves, and fittings to the tune of over $1 million. Western Nevada Supply purchases pipes, valves, and fittings from Merritt Brass out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Cleveland, Ohio. Those two sites combined employ over 250 people. Western Nevada Supply also purchases industrial tube fittings from Tyloke International in Euclid, Ohio. They're a smaller outfit with around 55 employees. Victaulic out of Pennsylvania is also a major vendor of pipe fittings. Nevada Copper likes to keep things at home when they can. That's why they've contracted Desert Engineering with their branch Desert Ready Mix to pour all concrete on site. Desert Engineering is located right here in Urington, Nevada and provides jobs to over 30 people in the community. 
These are just some of the many states Nevada Copper's Pumpkin Hollow will touch. The Pumpkin Hollow Mine Project isn't just a benefit to the city of Urington and Lyon County, but to the entire United States of America.